and gentlemen, we are at the closing ceremony of the Meghalaya Games 2024 and we are very happy to have the opportunity to show you from the comfort of your home at, of the closing ceremony here at BA Sangma Stadium. Right behind me is a contingent of athletes who have participated in the six days of sporting events and they've had many failures, many medals won, many memories made but at the end of the day it's the value the participation that counts and therefore we are very happy to be able to bring to you the highlights of the closing ceremony remember to stay tuned with the northeast media hub this is Catherine Nockenry the gold medalist in judo from East Kasi Hills here at uh, on the grounds of PS Sangma Stadium for the closing ceremony. Prem, congratulations on your gold. Thank, thank you, sir. How was the experience? Uh, my, my experience, I've been very happy to get a uh, gold medal in the fifth edition of Meghara Games. So I would like to thank uh, to my coach who make me, who make, uh, who create me to in this this level mm -hmm. to bring medals in games so i'm very lucky to be a pr sports person and i thank you to our government of meghalaya to make a uh, first edition of meghalaya games in tura west Carolina. this is the first time you're participating in the meghalaya games in tura what was uh, the kind of experience that you came across in your entire week of stay in Tura, participating in uh, the judo event? Uh, in Tura, I feel very happy to be in Tura because this is my first time in Tura. So, uh, and in Meghalaya, Shillong, this is the first time I visit in West Barrow Hills. So, I am very happy to be here. And about in Tura, I have I have very enjoy enjoying day in Tura. Even when I come in Tura also, I have very enjoyful day with my friends or with uh, volunteers also. They don't make us uh, what they say. They don't make angry with, uh, with mm -hmm. us. They are feel they are like uh, our friends. They don't think so. We are we are another district. We are like that. They are staying with us like uh, uh, we are a, like uh, as a friend. So I am very happy to be in Tura. How was the competition? Was it tough? Uh, about my competition, it, it is not tough. It very much because I have been played uh, in national level. So I have I have been participate uh, two Kelo India's youth games and some of national school games that time uh, in national school games also. Uh, I ha I have played in national school games, so I get uh, I get to play at bronze medal fight but uh, of my fault I was lost in my bronze medal fight so it's not uh, it's not that much of tough because in our Meghalaya so some people they don't know what is a, what is a judo mm -hmm. so it is not tough like that much but, but we have very enjoy and one more thing in uh, in this Meghalaya games I give so many interviews uh, so I have a one request to the uh, government of Meghalaya yeah. to uh, that uh, sim that uh, tag he put in the judo banner. So that is not a uh, correct banner. That is uh, a very wrong type because that is a uh, uh, taekwondo and karate position. So we need like our judo position. So we want we want to make uh, judo in Meghalaya to spread everywhere so they can know about judo. What is judo? So that much only. Is, is judo uh, popular among the youth uh, uh, in Meghalaya, particularly in Kasi Hills in uh, Shillong? Because you are representing Shillong, right? Uh, in Shillong, judo not uh, that much of a uh, famous in Meghalaya. Uh, as we we have only our size sports authority of India. We are steady, uh, staying there at hostel. So only in our uh, in only in our side only we have. Um, many players are like Jobes in, but like other other district, we don't have this much of players. So, so if 
in every district we have some judo players more than we want so it will it, it is good to be in competition in Meghalaya games so we we can have uh, we can have to play much more games like not uh, last time and this time also in Meghalaya games we have uh, less players mm-hmm. so if some more players means it's very good to be a part of the competition who was your toughest uh, competitor at the, on this uh, at these games uh, in in this uh, first uh, Meghalaya games uh, i get my uh, hard competitor uh, is from uh, west jaya hills his name is uh, prank singh he is like good good only but because he has uh, more strength so in judo uh, strength means not that much uh, because in judo we have to need uh, our mind game and the technique only and the megala games are concluding today how what memories are you taking back from tura uh, from tura we have some photos uh, with us our uh, venues uh, volunteers some uh, garo traditional things we have to be uh, realize that we are uh, one day we are also in fifth megala games at west garo hills well i wish you all the best for your future uh, thank you uh-huh. i wish you all the best for your future uh, thank you so much and i will try to be a national player or indian player to be to proud in, in india uh, or meghalaya so there you have a rising star in judo from tura who is representing Shillong, but participated in the 5th Meghalaya Games. the final day and the closing ceremony of the Meghalaya Games 2024 and it has been a journey of enthusiasm where we have seen the many games that have been played here at this very field especially football which is the heart of the people here in Meghalaya as we are moving forward we have a little we have a crowd coming and gathering at the PA Sangma Stadium and we are here to talk to some of the people who've already arrived we have Madam here. Ma'am, can you please introduce yourself? My name is uh, Jacinda A. Sangma. I'm from Tura. So, uh, how are you feeling, uh, believing that the fact that Meghalaya has brought Meghalaya Games to Tura for the first time here? So, how are you feeling? Is there an excitement, especially seeing the new athletes, budding athletes here in, this, in the region of Garo Hills? Yes, since it is first time uh, fifth games of Meghalaya, it's very exciting and I'm feeling great now. So what do you have to say to the budding athletes, you know? Uh, as we can see through the tally that East Hasil is taking home the championship, but then West Garo Hills, uh, West, Southwest Garo Hills is also fighting neck to neck. Uh, what do you have to say? Yeah, uh, since uh, the games is... Uh, uh, at the very start, uh, the athletes from Garo Hills, they are not very ready. So I think it's not a uh, good time for them this time. But I think uh, in the next time, it will be for them, I think. Thank you so much for talking to the Northeast Media Hub. I hope you have a great day as we will be taking you to the massive closing ceremony that will be streaming live at the Northeast Media Hub. Make sure to stay tuned and get a close interaction with the viewers here who have arrived at Patugan Sangma as well as our social media handles.
here with West Bengal Deputy Commissioner Jabdi Chalani, the host of the Fit Megala Game. Sir, how, you, how is the performance? What was? What is your reaction to this entire week of sporting events that have taken place for the first time in Tura? It's been a wonderful week. I have never seen Tura that lively, this environment, the energy that people have shown over here, the wonderful hosting that the town has shown over here. It's it's fantastic, fabulous. Honestly, it's been a lovely experience overall. And what do you think that the uh, feel? that the athletes will take back with them from this games in Tura? Organizing it for the first time in Tura will uh, give them the opportunity to have explored Garo Hills for the first time and I'm sure that uh, they would have seen the other part of the state for most of them, for 60-70% of them, this should be their first trip to the Garo Hills region. Apart from making friends in sports, they would have also made friends in the locals over here. They would have also seen the lovely state that Meghalaya is in and around here. And I'm sure those experiences they'll take back and a lot of people will get motivated to come more over here and have that experience over there. A lot of uh, raw talent was discovered in these games. Uh, in Tura, weightlifting was one where young boys on Tura clinched the gold, even the bronze medal. Do you feel that such games should be held more and more in regions beyond the state capital for tapping the talent that is available across the state? Most certainly, most certainly. If you see that uh, this year, obviously the medal tally is very much in favour of East Khasi Hills, but that shows the kind of potential that other districts have in the medal tally. You have Riboye on second, you have West Gentiles Hills on third, South West Khasi Hills on fourth and fifth is West Garo Hills district. And I'm sure that the new infrastructure that has come out along with the Mikhaila Games will make it much more better for the next year, whenever the teams are participating. Uh, weightlifting was definitely a very sh good shocker. In fact, one of our volunteers, the one person who won the bronze, was a volunteer with the district administration who was sent over there and uh, uh, he luckily and amazingly had won uh, bronze over there. And I'm sure that many such people will come forward. This, uh, the Mikhaila Got Talent kind of a program that uh, government of uh, Mikhaila and the sports department are organizing, that will also help us in identifying some of these very good athletes who can clinch uh, medals at the national and international level. And I'm sure Mikhaila Games provides a first platform for them to come forward and get themselves recognized in a, in a manner like this. Being the host district, it must be a, a very exciting moment for you to have seen the conclusion of this Games so successful. I, I honestly am uh, humbled by the kind of participation that we have seen. It's, a, uh, it's honestly a very big privilege to host Meghalaya Games for, the, uh, for holding all the 12 districts together, uh, being uh, witnessing the first presidential visit, the maiden visit of uh, uh, Srimati Dr. our Honorable President, Her Excellency, uh, in uh, the state of Meghalaya. And uh, I, I couldn't believe that uh, we would have had a better chance to invite her over for a moment like this where the entire state is together being represented by the best sports persons and athletes from across the state. And it's a an humbling experience, honestly. It's wonderful to see the closing ceremony itself. And you can see the joy, the excitement that these athletes are taking along with them today. So it's been great. The entire stadium is jam-packed with spectators. Does it uh, indicate or do you feel that, you know, the people want more of this game? It has been an enthusiastic uh, moment for everyone in Tura. Most certainly. Uh, in fact, we have a sitting capacity of around 9,500 over here. And we have had requests for passes for more than 15,000 to 18,000. And because it's a ticketed event, we had to stop people off. That we can't allow the, that many people to come over here. But you can see the enthusiasm with which the, the city has participated. Uh, just before this, we had the beautification project for Mighala Games where we gave uh, the participation to the uh, localities and you can see the wonderful artwork that they have done uh, in, in uh, inauguration and welcoming the athletes over here. So it's, it's as much as theirs as the district administration has adopted, the city itself has adopted these games and I'm sure that with more events like this, they will have the opportunity to host more people over here. Garo Hills being a hospitable society will always love to have new people coming over here and experiencing the culture, the, the ethnicity and the atmosphere over here. So definitely, they look forward to it very much. Thank you so much sir, all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you.
What an amazing week this has been for Tura and sports in the state. As we say goodbye to the athletes with the closing ceremony of the fifth Megalag Games. We have all the athletes over here. There we have it. Thank you so much.